We asked you in the community tab to send us pioneer decks you built using Card Market that cost 100 euro or less. Yeah, and we picked two of those at random and we're gonna play now. And the cool part is the winner gets to keep the deck. Well, not us. Actually, Christian, you sent this deck in. If I win, I'm mailing this to you. Yeah, but don't worry about it because this deck is from Leon and it's gonna be shit. Howdy. Uh, howdy. This table is only big enough for one of us. Oh, that's a very good line. Is it? Would you like to high roll? Aye. That's not very high. Oh, it's eight. Eight is pretty good. Eight. I'd say eight is respectable. It's a pair of threes? I start. That's not how it works. We're not playing Mason. <sighs> Disappointing. All right. I'll keep. I'll keep as well. So now we have to walk like uh, three, three steps back and then walk turn Walk back like without looking at each other? Yeah. Someone will drop a handkerchief and at the sound of the handkerchief hitting the ground, we have to turn around and draw. <laughs> Is that the real rule? How do you know? I've seen one Western. Uh, okay. yeah. You're an expert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're playing a deck today submitted by Christian from Italy. And Christian, look me in the eye. I'm winning you this deck. It's a Grixis Affinity deck that uses Third Path Iconoclast and Psy Master Sopterus to create tons and tons of vomit tokens onto the board with all the artifacts we're playing, but it also has a Karn package with the Karn board and the weirdest combo, I, I had to look through the cards two or three times before I even spotted it. So as long as you have a Tezzeret, a Karn, and four artifacts on the board, you can just win on the spot. And it's really easy in this deck to get four artifacts on the spot. The way you do this is a Tezzeret gives affinity artifacts to all your creatures and planeswalkers. This is very important because Karn is a planeswalker. Now if you minus Karn, you go get an Ancestral Statue. Pretty bad card, but in this case it's awesome. You put the Ancestral Statue on the board for free because it has affinity for artifacts. You bring back your Karn. You play Karn again. You go get another Ancestral Statue. Now you play Ancestral Statue. You use it to bounce your other Ancestral Statue, which you can cast for free because it has affinity for artifacts. But again, you bounce your other Ancestral Statue. Now, if you have a third pass Iconoclast or a Scion board, that makes you infinite 1-1 one, one tokens. You say, oh, maybe you have to wait a whole turn before attacking with it. No, you just plus two the Tezzeret and deal infinite damage to your opponent. This deck is awesome. Today, I'm gonna play a cool enchantment deck built by Leon, which is all around Doom Foretold and many other enchantments that do a little bit or a lot when they're on the battlefield, but mainly I want to get them into my graveyard so I can get them back with Dance of the Mantis and then they're huge and they're gonna attack. It's gonna be great. And in order to do that, we we play so many enchantments that do something. We play Omen of the Sea, we play Treacherous Blessing, we play Spirit of Companion, we play the Restoration of Eganjo. You see so many enchantments that just do something and let us survive. And then we play also Starfear of Nyx, which gets the enchantments back, or I can get the Starfear back and makes the other thing attack. It's just a cohesive deck and it's gonna be cool. Awesome. Um, I will keep. Okay, hit me. Okay. I'm gonna play a Spire Bluff Canal. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is... You're in the Islet Club. A, not only that, I'm in the Ornithopter Club. Not only that, I'm in the Springleaf Drum Club. Okay. Not only that... No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Already showing I will off. tap Do you my like doing Ornithopter. This, doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I came with a machine gun toss. <laughs> I will tap my Ornithopter with the Springleaf Drum. And then... That's it. That's it? Yes. All right. I'll pass the turn. So what did you make the map for? Fear toss. <laughs> okay. Intimidation. You're, you're new around these parts, aren't you? Okay, I feel. So what you're saying is your gun isn't loaded. My gun isn't loaded. Okay. Yeah. I went to shoot it. I've, I've not expected anything else. Draw. You know what? I'm not doing all of this. Yeehaw! I'm going to play an island in Seiko. All right. So you're on the slower version of Affinity, I see. I'm going to play a Spire of Industry. And now I'm going to do the cool stuff. I'm gonna tap my Spiral of Canal and my Ornithopter, Spring Leaf Drum. I really hope, I'm not editing this one, but I really hope it's some cool cowboy music right now. Yeah. Because I'm gonna play a Third Path Iconoclast. Ooh. Yeah, Third Path Iconoclast is not a very common one. It's a 2-1 monk, and what would a human monk do? Naturally, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you create a 1-1 colorless soldier artifact creature token, because monks love fighting. You might think this is an artifact deck, but Ralph, I think this is a storm deck, because I will tap my Spire of Industry for colorless, I will play a Springleaf Drum. Is there any responses? No, 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 I'm, I'm yielding, but what is, is this like a budget combo deck that does, this, does all of this? This fit under 100 euro, I promise you. 
A soldier will enter the battlefield. I will tap the soldier with the spring leaf drum. This is turn two, creating a blue that will cast a moon snare prototype, which will create a soldier. I played an island card. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. Um, and you know what? I think I'll have to be satisfied with this. Oh, you, yeah, you should. It's pretty good. Okay. I'll pass the turn to you. I will draw a card. Yes. Oh. Oh. Do you know how sometimes Jamin complains that I'm too lucky? Most of the time. <laughs> I understand now. Ooh, I drew the blast zone. It's so crazy. Because Carl's start was so good, but it has all the one mana fixers that once I hit four mana, I'm just gonna play blast zone and immediately a second so everything that costs one is destroyed. And that will include all of those mana artifacts and set Carl back to the Stone Age. Okay, we're gonna play a plane. Okay. And then I'm gonna play a Starfield Mystic. Where enchantments cost one less to cast, and whenever an enchantment is put into my graveyard, this one gets a counter. Okay. So it's your turn. I will draw. I will play Shivan Reef. Oh, yes. Using the Shivan Reef and the Spire Bluff Canal, I'll play Reality Chip. It's a legendary <laughs> artifact, creature, equipment, jellyfish. It's currently a creature 0 4, and I may look at the top card of my library at any time. I'll do so. Pretty cool. As long as it's attached to a creature, which it currently is not, I may play lands and cast spells from the top of my library. It has reconfigure three, so if I pay three, I can equip it onto something. I'll do that. So I'll tap one with the Spire of Industry, mm -hmm. tap one with the uh, Moonshine prototype, and make a blue by tapping the Ornithopter mm -hmm. to reconfigure this onto my third pass Iconoclast. Okay, so now you can play them. Yes, now I may play the top cards of my libraries. So I'm gonna tap one, mm -hmm. tap the Soldier to play a Springleaf Drum. When Springleaf Drum enters the battlefield, I get a trigger. I make a soldier token. When you cast it. Yes. Yes. I'm going to look at the top card in my library. You already played a land. That's not the issue. It's unfortunate, but this will be my turn. Okay. I mean, still a pretty good turn. Unfortunate is a tall saying here. I will draw. That was also a good draw, giving everything else. I will cast an omen for one. Because it oh, costs one less. one less. Yeah. So when it enters the battlefield, I will scry two and then draw a card. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. We're going to keep both. Then we draw, which costs me two life. So I will go down to 18. 18. But it won't stay this way. Because you'll take another two? No, because I will gain three. Why do you gain three? Because I play the Oath of Kaya. Yeah. Which deals three damage to anything, and I gain three life when it comes into play. So I will deal three damage to the third card. That makes a lot of sense. Third path iconoclast. Third path iconoclast. You'll gain three. I go to 21. And I will not attack because I like blocking. So it's your turn. I'll attack. I'll draw. And you may look at the top card of your library. It's pretty nice. I'm going to tap one, two, three, since these aren't attacking. And oh. pay one life. Yes, I see 19. what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And play a reverse engineer. Yes. I'll draw three cards. That's a good idea. Easy. You can even look at them. Yeah, when they're in my hand. While you draw them, you can look at them. Whoo, that was actually pretty good. I don't like the sound of that. I'll take another one. I really feel like we're playing two different games. Like, I, I have a whole solitaire on the board. Uh, I'm going to play an Emery Lurker of the Lock. That's strong. It cost one, because yes. I you have, have two some or artifacts. more artifacts. Uh, I'm going to mill four when it enters the battlefield. Bye-bye, Emery. Weirdly enough, no artifacts in my graveyard. I'm gonna play another Spire of Industry. Mm -hmm. I will tap Springleaf Drum and the Emery to create a red. I'm gonna Voltaic Surge, your Mystic. The cost reduction is too strong. That's just rude. Yeah. Okay, it's dead. I'm gonna hit you for one. Ow. 20. 20. Back to your starting life total, after all this effort on my part. Okay, okay, okay. And I'll pass. So you have no artifacts in your graveyard. No, I do not. Which is a good sign. I can look at the top card in my library though. At any time. Any time. Any time. Like now. Like now. I'm gonna draw. Yes. You kind of foiled my plans a little, I'm not gonna lie. It didn't take much. Actually, it took much. You know, drawing three cards is, is something. But it's okay. I play a blast zone. Ooh, Which was my plan for one. Well, that's a pretty good one. But now that you have Embry, it's not really effective. Yeah, I can just bring these back all the time. It was a grand plan, but you foiled it. But another one. I'm gonna play another. Your stuff artifacts would have cost so. Your enchantments would have cost so little. Yes, 
That was the plan. But now they still cost one less, and I will play a Treacherous Blessing. So when I end the battlefield, I draw three cards. When I cast a spell, I lose a life. And whenever this becomes the target of a spell or ability, I have to sacrifice it. All right. So right now, it's a bit painful. Like, right now, it's actually cool. Yeah, it's, you, just, you just said how drawing three cards was great. Future, it might be painful, but you know, that's future Tuffle's problems. Yep. And now it's your turn. Okay. I'll untap. I'll look at the top card in my library. I will tap the Ornithopter and these two to reconfigure Reality Chip onto this soldier. I'm going to play this Shivan Reef off the top of my library. <laughs> I'm going to first kill this with a Voltaic Surge. It deals Carl. two damage. Carl. Carl! That kills mystics. That kills stuff. Yeah, exactly. I will then tap these two lands and use these t this two mana to tap these two soldiers mm -hmm. and play a Karn off the top of my library. Mm. Oh, this board is becoming messy. I am so sorry. Your artifacts? Their activated abilities can't be activated anymore. And then you're tapped out anyway, so I'm just gonna attack you for two. Okay. I'm gonna go to 18. 18. And then I'm gonna minus Karn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get a God Pharaoh statue, mm -hmm. put it into my hand. Yeah. I'll look at the top card in my library. I'm gonna pass the check. It's like, whatever you do, just throw in no game tough cards. How did you use that value? Ah, this doesn't look good. I'll draw a card. Uh huh. Uh huh. I really liked those mystics, you know? Oh, I really didn't. I will play a castle which comes into play untapped because I have a godless shrine. Your deck is well built. Thank you. And I will play a starfield of mix. Ooh, that's a fun one. You're one enchantment away too, right? Unfortunately, I did not have the mana to cast an enchantment. I see. You see the problem? <laughs> oh, yeah, I see where your combo was like. You lose one life. Yes, I will lose one 17. life. And then at the beginning of my upkeep, I can return an enchantment from my graveyard to the battlefield. You don't have any enchantments. You see the problem. I should have destroyed those instead. And as long as I have five or more enchantments, every art, uh, every enchantment that is not an aura is a creature equal to the mana cost. Yes. Yeah, it's your turn. I'll on top. I'll draw. I'll look at the top card. I'll play the top card, which is an underground river. Look at the top card. That's pretty good. I'm going to take down my card. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get a Meteor Golem. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's just rude. I'm gonna tap this Springleaf Drum for and this Ornithopter, and then tap this Fire Bluff Canal to create a third Path Iconoclast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap the third Path Iconoclast for one mana, then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven to play this Meteor Golem. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will destroy it. It's free. No, 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 Talalf. I know it's pretty good, but uh, I'll hit this. Here. It drew me three cards. It did. It was it, it was insane. Can't wait to see what it does next. And then I'll go to attack. Yes. I'll attack you for three. I'll go to 14. And I'll pass the turn to you. I will untap. Draw. Not much we can do. So I will play a Starfleet Mystic. Another one? Again. Wow. I will tap. And then for the one mana I have, I will cast a... Big light up. Oh, that's the nicest one. Which means I will lose one life for the mystic. Yes. And one life for the dog. Going down to 12. But you will draw a card for the I dog. Will draw also, this cost one, right? Yes. Okay. Because it's an enchant. Yes. Draw. And a friend. And a friend. Then I will cast an omen of the sea, which yes. costs me another life. I have 11. And I will scry two. That is all way too late. Draw. Ooh, interesting. I will tap a black and cast the trial of ambition. Oh, I sacrifice a creature. Yes. You'll lose one life. I will go to 10. The Ornithopter is gone. Now you can recast it. Yeah, <laughs> I needed something to recast. And we'll play a Godless Shrine tapped, and it's your turn. I'll untap. I have so many permanents that my untap step feels like it lasts a decade. I'll draw. I'll look at the top card of my library. Ooh. I don't like that sound. I know that sound. I don't even need to attack Tahar. I'll play a blue. I'll take one for a black. Okay. I'll pay four. That's okay. a total of six. You go to 17. Off the top of my library, <laughs> like this is a legacy, I'm going to play Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge. Now, you might not have seen this one very commonly, a sort of intro pack. I uh, admit, I have no idea what it does, really. So it's a uh, six mana Planeswalker with five loyalty. Creatures and Planeswalker spells I cast have affinity for artifacts. Uh, if I minus eight it, I exile the top ten guards in my library and put all artifacts from them into play. If I minus three it, 
Return target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. But if I plus two it, uh, it deals X damage to each opponent where X is the number of artifacts I control and I gain X life. Um, it's not. Excuse me? Bad. When I cast it, my third path iconoclast triggers. Give me a soldier token. Ah, right, because you needed that. Oh yeah, because I was at nine. Actually. So how many do you have now? Are you actually needed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm yes. gonna plus two my Tezzeret. Okay, uh, how many is that? How much would you like to <laughs> How much would you like to deal? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How much are you at, Talf? Um, ten. So I'm not exactly sure what Talf is playing, but something tells me it's an enchantment deck. And I'm pretty sure that these Voltage Surges have been the best they'll probably ever be. I, I think I've seen all of his creatures. I'd be willing to bet. So we're taking two of them out. We're replacing them with a Shrapnel Blast and a Synthesizer. Uh, experimental Synthesizer just digs more and Shrapnel Blast. Dealing five to Talos is way better than dealing two to one of his probably not very common creatures. Sideboning is going to be easy. I mean, we're going to just take out some of the cards that deal with random creatures or random permanents. And Kyle has so many of them and they're not important. So the Doom Foretold goes and obviously the Trial of Ambition, which just sacrifices creatures, goes as well. But in an exchange, we get more Seed from Existence, which takes care of the important permanents, namely the Planeswalkers, and the Doom Scars, which takes care of all the important creatures as well. So if he has a reality chip, an Emery, or one of those iconoclasts, all of this are going away with the Doom Scar. That's good. That is our plan. Here we meet again. Saddle up, buckaroo. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. I have watched one cowboy movie. I assume you're going first. Yes, sir. My starting hand is a little bit slow, but we're starting and we just hope Carl doesn't do the same start again. And if we get to three, I mean, all of our things are unlocked. And I think from there we can maneuver quite easily. It's too bad because this hand is full of really powerful creatures. Sai is awesome. Drawing three cards we've seen is pretty good, but I don't have any of the enablers. I need zero or one mana cost artifacts and this hand is just lacking them. We're going to have to ship it. Uh, wonderful. Look at that. I will mulligan. Ha. Mm, this one's, this one has the enablers, it has the cheap artifacts, it has the payoffs, but it doesn't have any of the middle ground part cards. Uh, I'd rather still keep it than go down to five, so we'll get rid of another Omnithopter. It's the only kind of redundant uh, part of this hand, and uh, we'll, we'll keep. The seven, minus one, is gonna get me there. Oh, it just might. Yay. Yeehaw! Cowboy, I'll put this on the bottom. And you can go. I will start with a Godless Shrine tap, because that's how I roll. Partner. Go. We partner. We're enemies. No, we're friends. <laughs> that's not how cowboys work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a Spire Bluff Canal. Yes. Spire Bluff Saloon. Oh, I mean Spire. Yeah. Bluff. I'll play a Spring Leaf Drum. Yes. Why do we? Why did we even choose to do a cowboy? I don't know. It None just of appeared. these have anything to do with cowboys. You just found a hat. I'll pass the turn to you. Some, sometimes life is like this. You find a hat. It is recorded. I will draw, play an island, and pass the turn again. Okay. So it is a standoff, after it, all. It is a standoff. A German standoff. I will play Spire of Industry. Yes. It's the uh, Industrial Revolution, you know, so yes. things are getting... I will... Um, my, my start is not as explosive as last game. I'll pass it to you. Oh, I like that. I will draw. I also like that. I will play a Glacier Fortress, untapped, and... A restoration of Iganjo. We'll put a counter on this, so I'm gonna take my library and get a planes. This is the journey I'm going on. On your horse? Yes. I found a planes with oh. my horse. I mean, the planes is kind of... Yeah, there's planes in Texas. So when this goes to two, I can discard a card and return a permanent with mana value two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. And on three, it <laughs> turns onto the backside, and then it's a three, four with vigilance. And if I get an attack or block, I make a toll. Just Seems pretty good card, just like 100 words or something. <laughs> yeah. New players must start with them and be like, so simple. Yes. I'll go uh, draw for turn. I will play an Ornithopter. Mm -hmm. This has far less text. I'll play an island. I will tap my Springleaf Drum on my Ornithopter to create a blue mana. I'll tap these three and get a Karn Cyan of Mmm. So do we want beats or do we want hand beats? Wow. Cool. I'm a poet. Yes. <laughs> I think I want I, I want to start hurting. Hand beating. I'll minus two it. Yes. Which will create a zero zero artifact construct token. Oh, that's terrible. It's zero zero. Now it also has a plus one plus one for each artifact it controls. So it's currently a three three. Mm. Pretty good. Okay. I'll pass the turn. I will draw a card, 
and then add a counter to my saga. So now I may discard a card, and if I do, I can return something, which I will. Um, you, you'll return what you discard? I will discard the planes and then put into play tap. Ah, it's any permanent. Yes. Ah, this is way better than I understood when you first read it. And then I will, for three mana, play an Oath of Kaya. Oh, <gasps> my like three, deal... three. <laughs> no. Oh. I would like to deal three damage to the card. 23. Unfortunately, I really don't play any Planeswalker, so that doesn't help me, but... I'm well, you killed a Karn. I did kill a Karn. And now... It's your turn. I'm on top. So when this flips, this becomes a 3-4. A 3-4, Vigilance, and whenever it attacks or blocks, I get a 1-1 Spirit. So you can get, like, two 1-1 Spirits. Can they fly? No. I'll play a <laughs> Experimental Synthetizer. Ooh, when cool. it enters the Lilith Devoured Field, I um, exile the top card of my library. And no, I may play, that. play it until end of turn. If I pay three and I sacrifice it, I create a 2-2 two, two white samurai. I'll play the card mm -hmm. as revealed. Mm -hmm. I'll attack for four. That is correct. I will take four and go to 19. 19? Every time I put do so much effort and you still have such a high life total, I think I pass. Okay. Suspicious, but you know, who am I to judge? I will draw. And this one will now flip. Yes. Do do do! 3-4 Vigilance. Alright, I will start again with my favorite card, Treacherous Blessing. Which, when it comes to the play, draws you a whole lot of cards. 1, 2, 3. Da, 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 you and me. I will play a land for a turn, Treasure Fortress, and tap oh, two mana. going to have a follow-up play? A doggy. Oh, it's a great one. And I will draw another card, and pass the turn. I will untap. I will draw. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to play Shivan Reef. Yes. No, that's too much mana. I don't like the business. I'll tap five, but I will take none uh, because I'm also gonna tap my Ornithoptera to make a black. Mm -hmm. And I'll make a Tetherit Master of the Bridge. Ding. Hope you have a moat to get over because this gives creatures and planeswalker spells I have affinity from artifacts. Four artifacts. So now you have four artifacts. So everything you have that in your hand that costs four is free. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't. I will take it up for two. So now I'm... Goes up to seven. I take four. And you take four and I gain four. 24. I need those life 14. totals. <laughs> um, that'll be my turn. I'll pass to you. I'm gonna draw. You do that for every card you draw. No, that, that card was really good. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll play planes and tap my two planes for Starfield Mystic, which I drew. Oh, very conveniently. All right, this turn we want to get rid of the Tesseret, which we're gonna do 100% with the Steel from Existence. But we also kind of want to get rid of the Construct Token because it pressures our life total, and eventually life is gonna mean some cards and some spells I play. So, but I don't want to waste my Steel of Resistance, the other one, for the Construct Token if I can do something better. So my plan is I'm gonna attack the Tesseret, which kind of hopefully looks like a desperate thing that I want to bluff, and Carl is going to block. If he blocks, we're gonna exile Tesseret as anyway with the Seal from Existence, but we can also seal from Existence the Synthesizer because the Construct Token is a 4-4 that gets reduced by one from the Seal from Existence, removing the Synthesizer. So that means I will get rid of all of those three permanents and, and as an additional bonus, get the enchantment to my graveyard so I can get it back later with the Dance from the Mansus. My Architect will attack the Tesseret. I will make a Spirit. So that's a 3-4, attacking into 4-4. Four, four. Are you aware? Are you asking me? <laughs> Do you want to call my bluff? Like, it seems like such a bad bluff to make. Your removal is sorcery speed. You could have... You could make me sacrifice my Ornithopter, which seems terrible. What are you playing instant speed? <laughs> Do -do -do. <laughs> Do -we. Do -do -do. Oh, we have the old Mexican standoff. Yeah. I pass priority. So do I. It dies. That was so. That was good for me. That was super anticlimactic. It's dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this has one toughness on it now. Yes. So I will get a counter for my mystic because whenever enchantment mm -hmm. I control goes away. You're gonna play a dance of the man's? No, you don't have enough mana to bring that no. back. I would tap two white to play a seal of existence. Okay. That will exile the Tesseret. All right. And I will lose a life because of the blessing. I will go to twelve. And then I will tap too wide again to play a second seal of existence, Ooh. which is going to target the experiment they synthesize. Yeah, that's pretty good. From this, you have yeah, a trigger. Life. Yeah, you have a trigger yep. from this synthesizer. 
and the construct does. Yes, because I lost an artifact. I will go at 11. That was a pretty good turn. Thank you. Go ahead. I'll untap. And we'll draw. I will play an Emery Lurker of the Lock. That's good. I mill for four. Oh, Emery. Hello, what are you doing there? Third Path Iconoclast, what are you doing there? Third Path Iconoclast, what are you doing there? You're very good at this. And then I'll play a mountain and pass the turn. Untap, no effects, draw. For two mana, I will cast another. All right. I ganjo thing. So you get yourself a planes. I will get a planes. Thank you. Uh, this goes to my hand. I will play the planes. Ho ho! And that's already about it. I guess I can attack, right? Mm. I mean, yeah, Emery is gonna be here. Here, take it. I'll take three. Eat it! 21. I revised my initial plan and I will divert from my assessment and play an Omen of the Sea in my main phase. So you're saying you're a liar? Ah, Bender of Truth. That's you know, okay. they have fire benders that. and. Ah, benders. that's the fifth place in Avatar. Yeah. yeah, I see. So I go to nine. Yes. And I will scry two. Muy interesante. I guess, okay, we're gonna keep this and then draw this. <sighs> Unfortunately, that was already my turn. Your board is so busy for someone who just attacked for three. You can go. On the top. That is pretty good. I will play a underground river. Mm -hmm. Tap these three, four, for a card, the great creator. Yes. Your artifacts can't do anything again. I'm gonna minus two it to go in my sideboard. And I will get a reality chip with it. Uh, we don't need to read it, you saw it last game. I'm going to play the reality chip. Oh no, now I can it still look at the, I can look at the top of my library. Ooh! I have nothing to do with my Emery. So I'll pass the turn to you. End of turn. I will take another life. I will scry two. Those are not the druids I'm looking for. So I will put them down and draw a card. And then I will sacrifice my omen. You for get a counter? Days. That is crew. I would have forgotten about it. And I scry two. And we're gonna put it back like this because they're both great. Oh, no. Like, great is an overstatement, but <laughs> okay. I think they lead me You'll where I need to go. Settle for it. This will go up and I will discard this. Okay. Um, which I can bring back, but I can bring, bring back Omen of the Sea. Pretty neat. Because it's a two mana permanent. So I will scry two. Yes. I already like the card I put on top. So. I will keep that. So I will tap two mana and play another Restoration of the Aganjo. They, they add to my actually do something pile, which loses a life. You got a counter. And I will look for Yes. That was very fast. Thank you. You're like Lukey Luke of Planes Acquisition. Then I will attack with all of my creatures. All of your creatures? I will block like this. You're attacking me or Karn? Uh, you know what? We're attacking Karn. I'll block like this, like this, and like this. <laughs> this ring is dead. <laughs> I know. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, like that. Yeah, so on your top the dice, and my spirit dies. Wowzer. Nothing happens. Disappointing. I will cast a Doom Scar. Oh no! Kills my... all the creatures. Oh, and the jellyfish is still a creature too. And. I will play in the planes that I looked for, and it's your turn. I'm on top. Everything I had! It's now gone. It is! And you get a creature next turn. I will minus my card. I will go get a Ancestral Statue. Um, I'll play the uh, Ancestral Statue. It's a 3-4. When Ancestral Statue enters the battlefield, return an on-land permanent. You control the owner's hand. Yeah. Oh look, I've got a card. How convenient. I'll return a card to my hand. Yes. And then I'll play a Spire of Industry. Play my Karn again. Convenient. Very. I'll minus the Karn again. Yeah, and what are you getting? And I'll get a Meteor Golem. It'll go to my hand. That's okay. I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw. So we're gonna resolve this one. Yeah, you've got a lot of triggers. Before this one uh, puts the second counter, I will tap three and use the omen to scry to. Ah, not bad. Okay, we're gonna keep this. 
because it's a good card. Then, this one gets a second counter. I will discard an item and bring back Omen of the Sea. Very good. Not even losing life for that. Card advantage ones. machine. Draw. Draw. Yes, I'm not gonna want you. Draw this card. I will play an isolated chapel. Yes. And for three mana, I will play a seal of existence. Oh no! Which loses a life. Yes. And I go to five. And I will steal the card. Goes into my seal That's of your existence. Third five. seal of existence. Uh, go ahead. I'm on tap. I will draw. Yep. I'm gonna play an experimental synthesizer. When it enters the battlefield, uh, or leaves it, I exile the top card of my library. I will do that promptly. Quite a good draw you had there, buddy. Yep, I'm hoping for a Kern. Oh, it's like drawing your weapons also draw. I know, it's the perfect pun. Uh. We didn't even plan it. I reveal a... Uh, I can't even channel it. I'm gonna play a Moonsnare prototype. Okay, Taraf, you know what they say in the West? No, I really don't. It's Samurai time. I promise you, some of them say uh, it yeah. sometimes. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice this experimental synthesizer. Yeah. Uh, when that happens, I not only get Samurai Time. Yes. Obviously. I also reveal the top card of my library. Oh, I love that guy! <laughs> I'm gonna play a reality chip. Ooh. I will have to pay... Something. Let's be real, I'm not blocking with the Samurai. No life. To play a reality chip. Yes. The prototype's gotten a lot better. I will tap the reality chip with my Moosnet prototype. Mm -hmm. This will create a colorless mana. I will take damage after all. I'll take one off of this and tap this. I'll go to 20. Wow, my life total is cozy. I didn't even realize. And I'll equip the reality chip so on I can the play this ancestral stuff. statue. I'll play a mountain. Wow, it paid off already. That's that's all the payoff. Okay. I'll pass. At the end of the turn, I will sacrifice the omen again to scry two. I feel like you've got a combo going on. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. All right, those are bad. We're gonna untap. I feel like I need more seal from existence. <laughs> Draw. Hey, it's our good friend. The restoration will flip. Oh, now you've got a clock coming up. I will attack with my architect and I can spray. I'll take three. I <laughs> I don't know if you have any Got him, boys. Any kind, but 17. I will tap. What do we want to keep? Oh, Dance of the Man would be huge right now. Yes, I know, right? I know, I know, I know. It's exciting. Okay, we're well, gonna tap eight. And play oh. Dance of the Mans for six. Uh, return up to X target artifact and or non aura enchantments. With converted mana X or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. If X is six or more, those permanents are four four creatures. So I will target all of those. Okay. Yes. Um, because they're all enchantments. And they come into play. They're all four fours. So ignore the one of them. It's a four four. Okay. And all of them has trigger. We're gonna need a cleanup crew on your board. Has many trigger. Uh, you lose one life. Yes, yes, yes. Um, at this point, we have four triggers from yes. each of the permanents. So the first one resolves. Is this? Yes. I get a point. So this happens and gets a counter. Now we're gonna draw three. Feels pretty good. I don't know. Draw three. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Wait, how much life do you have? Seventeen. How much life do you have? That doesn't matter. Uh, I'm at four, but I don't need that much. All right. Um, Spirit of Companion, draws a card. And then Omer of the Sea, which is Grice 2. Doesn't matter. Draws a card. I have seven cards. I have enough life to cast one more spell. You're not even discarding. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Today now is when you play actual cowboy music. You may notice that I'm untapping slowly. my permanents very slowly. Todd? Carl? When you and I both entered Dirtle Town, we knew this, this town was not big enough to hold the two of us. We knew that the saloon only had enough mate for one of us. <laughs> I will pay. I overpaid. You're a stellar cowboy. <laughs> Thank you. I will pay seven mana. Yes? You're gonna play Meteor Golem. Yes, what do you want to say? I'm gonna play a Meteor Golem. Yes, I have literally nothing that I care about. I'm gonna target a seal of existence. But behind each seal. <laughs> Wait, can you? Which one? 
The one with the Tezzeret behind it. I will target it. Ooh. I will pay. No, no, I will no, stop no, no, speaking no, no, no. so slowly. No, no, wait, 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 yes. We don't need to do it like this. We can just talk it out, you we know. We can just walk our own ways. Exactly. Okay. This Start a farm. Okay. I, I, I heard you. This is your town. I will just leave. I will just leave. I will just play a Tezzeret. And I don't even play it. It enters the battlefield. It's fine. You've made your point. This is all yours. I will go back to, <laughs> to where I come from. Oh no. I'm going to plus my Tezzeret time. How much? What? So, uh, when I plus Tezzeret, uh, it deals X damage to each opponent where X is the number of artifacts I control, and I gain X life. That is completely inconsequential because I have one, two, three, four, five artifacts, and you have. Let's call the hangman. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, don't die. Ah, yes, you could do that. I forgot. I win the game. I was one turn away from winning. One from turn? What? what were you going to do with your turn? You dirtled. So yeah, you know all the enchantments, they didn't do anything. I was playing Starfield and then attack with all of them. Uh, yeah, see, that see, was you, the plan. You I played, had it. You played Doom Foretold in your deck, right? Yeah, originally, but it's not very good against your artifacts. So I also sideboarded some of them out. But Yeah, against a mono artifact. Speaking of artifacts, Christian, this deck is not only very cool, it is actually yours now. We're going to mail this to you. Have a look at your mailbox. And for those of you that are not Christian, if you want to submit a deck, we're doing the same thing, but for modern very soon. We'll be posted about it, looking for new decks in the community tab. Yeah. How do you get to the community tab? That's a great question. Well, you have to be subscribed. And that's this little red button that we always tell you to do. And let's be honest, you didn't do it yet, but we're not going to be angry if you do it now. And then the upside is you see it in the community tab. You can post your list and then you might be the next one winning one of those decks. Modern next time. And in the meantime, we'll see you in the next video.